The wealthiest people on earth make a lot of money while they sleep. Elon Musk, for example, makes about 723 US dollars every second he sleeps. Now, if he sleeps for six hours on average every night, that means that every night he sleeps, by the time he wakes up, he has made about 15 and a half million dollars. That's crazy. Warren Buffett, on the other hand, makes about 130 US dollars every second he's asleep. Now you, probably make nothing. So whilst you might not be making such crazy amounts of money, it's important that you start somewhere. And ideally starting online is the easiest thing that you can do. First, making money anywhere is easy in basic terms, plain and simple solve a problem or add value and you'll have money all the ways in which money is made on earth it's because someone is exchanging value for money even the craziest things for example if someone buys a pair of shoes at let's say 15 million it's because to them the value of that shoe is 15 million so in the end it doesn't matter what someone is selling whether it's alcohol or whether it's the most useful thing you'll find maybe food to the poor what they're exchanging it for is value so all you need to do is to add value to someone and they'll exchange that value for money. So the more value you add, the more money you get. So the simple advice is if you can invest a lot of your time into your ability to add value to others, then the more money you'll make with time. So when it comes to making money, there are usually two ways of making money. One is when someone directly exchanges their time for money. For example, if you work in a restaurant and you're working as a waiter, you're going to work maybe eight, 10 hours a day. And after those 10 hours, you get paid. You're exchanging your time for money. If someone is an office worker, they get up every morning, go and sit in the office for eight hours, you know, nine to five, and they'll go back home. And at the end of the month, they'll be paid for the amount of time spent at that work. The other option is what we call passive income. Someone invests time once and then they'll earn money off that time that they actually invested maybe a year ago, maybe a few minutes ago, maybe an hour ago. The main thing is that they'll invest their time and efforts once and then for some time, whether they are sleeping, whether they're on vacation, they'll actually earn money off the time they invested. So here are six ways that you can make passive income off the internet. First, blogging. So what is a blog? A blog is a regularly updated website or web page that is typically run by an individual or a small group and it's usually written in a conversational style or an informal style. So what are the steps involved for you to be able to actually make money through blogging? First, you've got to create a blog. There should be a lot of sites or videos that can actually show you this in a very easy way. But one of the websites which you can actually create a blog on is Wix.com. Check it out. Second, you've got to grow an audience. Now, an audience in the end is actually what's going to be the defining factor for you making money from a blog. Now, you can actually make anywhere from about 500 to 2,000 US dollars on a blog in your very first year blogging. And the thing with blogging is that you don't need to be a professional writer to write a blog. You just need to be able to draw the attention of people who are attracted to what you're writing about. So in order to make a blog, first you have to choose a niche. Now choosing a niche can depend on two factors. First, something that you love to talk about or something that you love to do. That makes a lot of logical sense because it's something that you would spend a lot of time doing. And since the blog is going to require you to be commitment, for example, to write regularly, it just makes sense that you do something that you're passionate about. But also you can choose something Something that people are interested in. Now that's even more important because when you're writing a blog, you're not writing it for yourself. You're writing it for others to read and not for you. So it makes sense that you actually choose a niche that draws a lot of attention for people. For example, daily women's lifestyle. This would certainly draw a lot of attention because a lot of women will interact with things like women's health, relationships, parenting, traveling, and it's all focused around women they are certainly going to seek out such a blog. So examples of different niches that would actually draw interest for a blog are things like personal health, personal training, financial literacy, business, fashion. And then after you've chosen a niche, the next thing you have to do is to create content and build a reputation. So you need to make sure that you write often, make sure that what you write actually offers value to people. People are interested in it. You can choose trending topics. You can choose things that you find people would love to read about or learn about. All you need to do is probably spend a few minutes researching every week and then write the blog. Providing content and building a reputation is what's going to get people coming back to your blog and you end up developing an audience. And then once you've developed an audience and people can now trust you, 
then you can bring in the different ways in which you can make money. The first way is get subscriptions. So people need to subscribe to the blog. They will need to pay a particular amount of money, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30 dollars, 100 dollars in order to be able to receive the blog every week because now they find a lot of value in it. Another way is to sell merchandise. So now that a lot of people are interested in your blog, you can actually sell a lot of things. If you're dealing with, let's say, women's lifestyle, you can sell a workout program, you can sell a planner, you can sell clothes, you can sell whatever kind of merchandise that's actually related to your kind of blog. Also, you can become an affiliate. This is very commonly done with sites like Amazon. You might not be selling your own product, but if you're reviewing something or talking about a particular product on your blog, you can leave a link to it to a particular website, let's say Amazon, if it's a product, for example, a particular cloth or an electronic. Every time people buy using that link, you get a small percentage of money and that can actually build up to be a huge sum of money. Another one is doing sponsored content. So if you have an audience, a targeted audience, people might actually want to target your audience. Advertising companies, for example, if you're doing fashion and you have a proper targeted audience in fashion, particular fashion and design companies might actually want you to write sponsored and targeted content for that audience, that way they are able to sell to them and you'll actually get paid for writing this content. And finally, since you've actually gained the trust of your audience and appear like an expert to the audience, you can provide consulting services to your audience and then that way you get to earn an amount of money from the blog. Stream number two, ebook publishing. Now the consumption of ebooks worldwide is actually increasing globally and it's expected to keep increasing for quite some time. And when it comes to ebooks, your content actually has to be worth paying for. So this either has to be very timely content, you know, content that makes sense for that time or duration, or evergreen content. So just like writing blogs, writing an ebook also requires a niche or a specific topic. So find out what exactly does your audience want. Examples of ebooks that actually do quite well are ebooks about spirituality, ebooks about health, finances and making money, biographies. So choose a specific niche or topic that that your audience might actually be interested in. Next up, write your ebook. And then after that, you've got to create an eye catching title and cover for your ebook. This is very important because the way people scroll through these ebook websites is that a lot of the attention is on their front page. You know, people actually do judge books by their cover. So the cover is very important. What's written on top of the book and the colors of the book are so important. Then price your ebook. Come up with an appropriate price for your ebook, not too expensive, not too cheap. And then create a landing page for your ebook. It might be on a personal website or it might be through a reseller, for example, Amazon. Amazon is a very well known ebook seller, and if you place a book there, it has very high odds of being found. You can also use websites like Shopify. And then next up, promote your ebook. If you have a blog, if you have a YouTube channel, your social media, promote the ebook over there and then just watch people go and download it and you get your cut for it. Stream number three is creating a YouTube channel, just like this one. Now I know about YouTube channels where people actually earn millions, I mean 5, 10, 20 million dollars a year simply through the YouTube channel, through different methods of earning via the YouTube channel. Now the first and most common way of earning money through the YouTube platform is AdSense, Google AdSense. You know, those ads that you see when you're watching videos, usually some of them are skippable, others are not at the beginning, in the middle, at the end. Google will actually pay a percentage of the money that advertisers pay to the creator. For example, I'll get paid for the ads that appear in this video. But that's not probably the most effective way. Another way of actually earning through YouTube is using partnerships. So different companies, depending on the kind of audience that you actually have, will come to the YouTuber and then they will ask the person to partner with them. Either they'll make a video about their product or they'll make a short insert inside their video where they're talking about the product and the company will pay them simply for talking about them. Also, if anyone joins their program or whatever they are advertising, then the YouTube content creator will actually get a cut of that. Another way YouTubers actually make money is through affiliates. So if, for example, I was talking about a product, you see a lot of the tech YouTubers. This is very practical for tech YouTubers. People who review phones, they review computers, they review, you know, lights, cameras, all those kinds of things. After they have made a review for it, a lot of them will leave links for you to be able to buy those products from Amazon, eBay, whichever site. And those websites will actually give them a very small percentage of what the people paid 
to purchase. And that can actually build up to quite an amount, you know, 20, 50, 100,000 US dollars. Also on YouTube, you can do product sales. If for example, I was doing a lot of fashion, I can go to a company, we make a deal, they design something that's branded with Dr. Daniel Masaba, and then I'll be able to sell it. And that way I make money. But also, through consultation, if you turn out to be an expert, for example, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about farming and poultry. And because of that, I actually became quite an expert at poultry farming. I've helped other people's farms build up and make a lot of money. And so a lot of people find it very easy to approach me and pay me to consult with me for the growth of their poultry farm. I've actually made a whole video about starting and growing a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that video right here so you can check it out. Stream number four is creating an online course. Now this is easily one of the ways in which you can actually make thousands and even millions off the internet. But also a lot of people have made courses so you've got to distinguish yourself. You need to make sure that the course that you actually create has a lot of value and provides value to people. But how do you get people to trust your course? The first and easiest way is to actually grow some form of audience on whichever platform it is. Whether it's a blog, whether it's a YouTube channel, you need to make sure that you actually get people to trust you. So you've got to create a platform, for example, YouTube, where you make videos, give out a lot of information for free, get a lot of people to come to trust you, and actually understand that they would find a lot of value from a course which is not free, because that would certainly offer way more than what is free. So once you've developed an audience and you've got people who can trust you and you clearly have a vision and people can clearly see that you have a lot of knowledge on the subject matter, then create the course, make sure it's well made, create a website or a platform where you can actually sell the course from and then get people to come and buy the course. Like I said, through this method, I've seen a lot of YouTubers make millions of money. For example, I've seen Ali Abdal, who is a YouTuber that I love so much. I've seen him share about a part-time YouTuber academy. It's an online course that he offers where people actually go join the academy. They get a lot of value in terms of being able to grow their YouTube channels. But because of the fact that people are actually loving it and actually getting value from it, he's willing to charge a premium price for it because it's worth it for the people. And he's able to make quite an amount of money from the academy. Number five is selling products off Etsy. Now this might actually be something that you've never heard about. Etsy is an online marketplace or website for creatives. A lot of times it's in the art section of things. Now I have a friend who actually makes thousands of dollars off Etsy every year, you know, quite an amount of money every year. And when it comes to Etsy, it's simply about you being creative and whatever you come up, you just place it on the website and people can buy it from things that can be shipped like jewelry, beddings, anything that can be designed in an artistic way to things that don't even need to be shipped. For example, workout plans, travel plans, designs for houses, designs for crafts, all those things can be sold off Etsy. So you just need to be creative, then place your product on the website and you can make crazy money off the website. And then our final passive income idea is selling stock footage, which is videos or images. If you've watched this video, you've probably already seen a lot of stock footage in here. And a lot of that stock footage is actually footage that is paid for on online platforms. So if you're a very good photographer, you like taking photos, you like taking videos from all kinds of places, you can actually earn off the videos and the photography you take. There's a lot of stock footage websites, for example, iStock. You just go over there, upload your footage, if it's, you know, really good footage. And then every time people download and use that footage, a very small percentage of it is actually sent to your account. And then over time, it piles up. You know, if people keep downloading whatever footage it is from you, the money will pile up and it will actually be something very subjective substantial for you that you can keep hold of. So this is actually also a very easy and quick way of making passive income off the internet. So if you've enjoyed this video, I believe you'll enjoy this video right here where I talk about how one year of financial sacrifice can change your life forever. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.